Okay, so this is a short clip on changing oil, oil filter, air filter, in other words, a minor service on a Mitsubishi ASX. In particular, a very, very stubborn oil filter. Very difficult to remove, probably had been installed previously by some clown using a crowbar. So let's have a look. Okay, let's do a minor service on a Mitsubishi ASX. What we're going to do is a oil change, air filter change, and uh, check the battery. First of all, let's locate the places we're going to need to access. That's the oil level dipstick, and that is the oil filler. And that's where we'll be putting the oil into. So we'll take it off now to get ready for refilling the oil. We're going to also top up the uh, windscreen wiper water, cleaning the windscreen. At the moment, I would imagine that's empty. Now, that is not the one, this is the one actually indicated the windscreen wiper sign so don't go and put it in the wrong one that's for the radiator cooling the engine cooling system coolant is actually with coolant on there that's where we'll be putting water for the windscreen the uh, oil filter is located on the driver's side and the sump drain plug is uh, also on the driver's side towards the rear of the engine in other words straight in line with the uh, oil filter work backwards and you will see the sump plug right there it's worth noting that the uh, the car didn't have to be jacked up there is a fair amount of space underneath the vehicle and the uh, filter is reasonably okay accessible uh, so is the drain plug so we didn't need to put it up on blocks but uh, do observe any safety precautions put it in park put the handbrake on etc right so here are some of the tools that we used as you can see we tried WD-40 we tried various types of removers. One of the strap absolute rubbish doesn't work, just slips. We ended up using the best of all, great big screwdriver and a hammer. The one on the right there snapped and broke. The one on the left, the silver one, Chinese soft metal. Supposed to be strong, but absolute rubbish. Ended up with a great big screwdriver and a bit of brute force. Punched a hole with a hammer in it and after much grunting and groaning and carrying on an absolute brute force managed to loosen it thank goodness for that at last we got it off now all we need to do is thin form of grease apply to the gasket of the new oil filter screw it back in and bob's your uncle <laughs> 